I believe that Lloyd-Jones was to 20th century Britain what Charles Spurgeon was to the 19th century. Some people have called Edwards the last Puritan. I refer to Martin Lloyd-Jones as maybe the last of the Puritans. Uh, there was nothing flashy about him. He wasn't anything to look at. He had no gimmicks or tricks. He was a man trained to be a medical doctor who felt the call of the Lord to be a, a surgeon of souls. Truly, when you met with him and talked with him, so often you left his presence feeling a greater hunger for God and to know Christ. And in the right sense of the word, he brought the gospel into the contemporary world in a very contemporary way. In the day when Lloyd-Jones pastored, British churches were experiencing a, a drought. The decline in numbers had begun. And in many ways, Lloyd-Jones faced then what we face today. And his choice, radically different, his choice was to remove the things that people felt were essential to attract modern man and instead to give them this timeless attraction of Christ. He was grave in the pulpit and urgent about the souls of people listening. And he did it with such passion and joy and clarity. As well as profound systematic theology, you can't read or hear a Lloyd-Jones sermon without realizing the interconnectedness of what he's doing. It was absolutely clear, it was absolutely logical, they could all understand it, but the fire was there. Light without heat never affects anybody. It's no use to anybody. Heat without light is no good. You must have light and heat. What is preaching? Logic on fire. He was simply seeking to be faithful to what he read in the scriptures, that the word of God must come with the demonstration of the Holy Spirit and of power. And all of his love for the scripture, all the passion of his heart for the glory and honor and sovereignty of God just came roaring out of him. It was expository, discerning, diagnostic, uh, soul-stretching, mind-stretching, life-changing preaching. <laughs> 